Hello there. The Ukrainian president vows his country to a tough fight shortly before Independence Day. And the nuclear power plant should continue to be under fire at the moment. It's not that easy for Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. He has called on his compatriots to unite in view of the almost half-year fight against the Russian invasion. We have to fight for Ukraine's victory. There's still a lot to do. We have to stand up and endure a lot. Unfortunately, also a lot of pain. That's what Zelensky said in a video message distributed on Saturday evening. Next week, on August 24th, or this week, the country will celebrate its Independence Day. The day also commemorates half a year of Russian war of aggression, which Kremlin chief Vladimir Putin ordered on February 24th. Sunday, when I'm filming this, marked the 179th day since the invasion began. Zelensky warned that Russia could use Independence Day for extra brutality. That's how our enemy is. Every other week of these six months, Russia has been doing something this disgusting and cruel all the time, said Zelensky. Among other things, he referred to the Russian terror in the Charkiv region and Donbas, where missile and artillery attacks are carried out every single day. The head of state also said that he expects partners to visit Kiev next week. The war changed everything for Ukraine, for Europe and for the world, he said. Russia's goal is to humiliate the country and spread fear and conflict. That's why nobody should bow to the pressure and show weakness, said Zelensky. That's why we stick together, help each other, rebuild what was destroyed and fight for our people, he said. After numerous reports of downed drones and explosions in military facilities on the Russian annexed Black Sea Peninsula of Crimea, Zelensky said that a recapture was in the offing there. This year it's in the air and you can feel that the occupation is only temporary, that Ukraine is returning, he said. Russia annexed Crimea in 2014 against international protests. On August 23rd, Zelensky will host the second international Crimean platform, a conference intended to reinforce the peninsula's affiliation with Ukraine under international law. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg is also to be connected via video. And at the headquarters of the Russian Black Sea Fleet in the port city of Sevastopol, the air defense was active again on Saturday evening, according to the authorities. In the morning, according to the information, a Ukrainian drone had already been shot down by the fleet's command staff, the burning parts of which hit the roof of the building. The Crimean government also reported air defense operations in the west of the peninsula and called on the population to remain calm. The flying objects are small and can hardly cause serious damage. They say the effect is more psychological, they say. But it is a very important psychological effect that they are not out of reach for the real owners of that place. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll be back.